day just one week away at this point, and the political game in one town is really turning ugly. But as News Channel 3's Callie Cart shows us, it's not the candidates who are pulling all the punches. Instead, thieves targeting one candidate's political signs. Skeletons of where Barack Obama signs used to be is all you'll find at C.P. Okay, Farley's home in Fraser's Bottom. We put the third sign up about 35, and two days later the sign was gone. This is our property, and if my husband wants these signs out here, no one has the right to stop and take them away. And of all the signs we have, only this one was stolen. But after four times of having their sign stolen, these neighbors went from playing offense to defense. I got a little bit angry, but instead of doing things, anything silly, I went ahead and got a security camera. And caught the campaign creeper in action, taking his time to make sure he plucked every Obama sign in view. It just gives me a good feeling to be able to catch him. But he was caught in more ways than one. Mary Griffith and her husband came face to face with this political spoiler after he was caught on camera. I said, you know, you're in a heap of trouble because this is not right. And I hope your parents aren't teaching you to be prejudiced. And they don't view this as just a childish prank. What can he be charged with, Marn? This type of thing, there's really no reason for it. Uh, those signs represent money. People spend a lot of money on those signs. Uh, and, and it doesn't matter whose signs they are. They should just leave them alone. But no matter how many times the signs have to be replaced, they say this thief can't steal their voices. He would drive to Florida if he had to to get a sign. To win this political feud. The Sheriff's Department says that it does have a suspect and they hope to file some charges by tomorrow. A man from Ohio is in jail tonight after shooting at two people. He says caught kicking down a McCain-Palin campaign sign in his yard for the second time. Kenneth Rowles was arraigned on one count of felonious assault today, admitting to firing a 22 caliber rifle at two teenage boys and one of them was actually shot in the arm. So Rowles now faces two to eight years in prison and is being held on a $10,000 bond.